Hello and welcome to this week's edition of BOI Impact. I am Hadiza Olao Shebiko. I'm particularly excited about today's program for so many reasons. Nigeria is getting its first ever gold refinery and the aim is to accentuate the wealth creation opportunities of gold mining that is being pioneered by a young, brilliant and game-changing woman, Nere Teriba. She is the founder and vice chairman of Ken Smith Trade and Company Limited. As an entrepreneur, mediator, and strategist, she has worked for sustainable community solutions in many countries. She also consults for Kaduna Mining Development Company and the Federal Ministry of Mines and Steel Development. Nere holds BSc and MSc degrees in electrical and computer engineering from the Carnegie Mellon University in Pennsylvania, United States of America. Another reason for my excitement is the activities of the company that are gold exploration, mining, processing, and trading. The company pioneered several gold artisanal mining initiatives, including Zokia Systems, a mobile technology platform for artisanal miners. This is a very good example of value addition to natural resources. Indeed, Nigeria is blessed with abundant minerals, gold inclusive. The company currently manages several gold exploration concessions as well as gold processing units in Oshun State. In addition, the company engages in consulting with regards to logistics, strategy for development and sustainability. Please recall that the Federal Government of Nigeria through the Federal Ministry of Mines and Steel Development partnered with the Bank of Industry in 2017 to establish the 5 billion Naira Artisanal and Small Scale Miners ESM Matching Fund to, amongst other things, address the issue of insufficient funding and access to capital, which is a major factor militating against artisanal and small scale miners who account for about 80% of the activities in the mining sector in the country. Once gold is mentioned, countries like Dubai, Italy, and Saudi Arabia readily comes to mind. But here we are in Nigeria, having a company like Ken Smith Trade and Company Limited that is developing Nigeria's first gold refinery with a vision to lead the establishment of West Africa as a gold market hub. Gold deposits are found in many parts of the country, especially in many northern states and Oshun states in the south. Ken Smith utilized the loan gotten from the Bank of Industry to fund artisanal gold miners, smelters, and other dependencies in the gold value chain. BOI's Impact Crew had a one-on-one -on -one interview with the promoter who impressed us with her depth of knowledge and opened our eyes to the abundant opportunities and potentials this our beloved country Nigeria has. I would describe the industry as being more artisanal and small scale. In terms of mining capacity, there, there is one large project, uh, a gold mine project this, the, by Thor Exploration, Segular Line, Ocean State. That's the only notable large gold project. Otherwise, everything is artisanal to small scale. Um, what I would say that we've, the gap we filled is maybe more integrating the value chain from mine fully to market. Usually in the sector, you find people who are mining um, maybe some people who are trading, but there hasn't been a full integration, is what I would say has been um, maybe missing thus far. And part of that has just not allowed maybe enough visibility into the opportunities for the sector. I think I would say for me the biggest opportunity I see is for the jewelry industry and jewelry production. Um, Nigeria is well known in the jewelry markets, Dubai, Italy, and India for its consumption of jewelry. And yet we don't really produce. And just like the way I see the music industry and the fashion industry, there was a time where Nigeria was importing, but now we produce. And our culture, our flair, our style is very unique. So I really feel that the, the jewelry industry is the biggest, um, should I say value, just sitting there untapped for, for us. <music> 